The Security Cabinet has issued a veiled warning of pending IDF strikes against Iranian and Hamas targets. Meeting after the latest deadly terrorist attacks in Judea and Samaria, the Security Cabinet ordered the IDF to strike at the terrorists and whoever dispatches them. Details of the meeting are withheld, but the Prime Minister's office said that the Security Cabinet authorized Netanyahu and Defense Minister Gallant to act accordingly. Netanyahu and Gallant have both said in recent days that the current terror wave is directly linked to growing military tensions with Tehran, with Iran exploiting the Israeli-Palestinian conflict by strengthening Hamas to open a new front against Israel. Four Arab Israelis were murdered mob-style in the northern town of Abu Snan as a deadly crime surge in the sector tops 150 since the start of the year. One of the dead men is Ghazi Saab, a candidate for mayor and a former border police officer. Emergency services found the man in a field, all shot at point-blank range. Prime Minister Netanyahu is now urging Shin Bet involvement to, in his words, defeat this criminality. A ministerial panel convened today tasked with fighting crime in the Arab community. The mass shooting follows the killing of Tira's municipal director a day earlier. Druze leaders announced a strike in the community institutions in response to the killing and blamed the police and government for a lack of security in the north. Abu Snan has a mixed population of Muslims, Druze and Christians. In what would become an historic soccer signing, Bayern Munich has reportedly finalized a deal for Maccabi Tel Aviv goalkeeper Daniel Peretz. Prominent Italian sports journalist Fabrizio Romano says that Bayern München is set to finalize a 5 million euro deal with the Maccabi Tel Aviv goalie. Peretz holds a German passport and is anticipated to commit for five years until 2028. He is due to play his last game for Maccabi Tel Aviv tomorrow, after which he'll travel to Munich for extensive medical examinations. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that ILTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.